Hi, I'm Stefan, the BMW DIY guy. And do you know if you own a BMW, you don't actually have full control of your exhaust valves? I'll show you how you can fix that. All right, y'all, so let's talk about this project a little bit and the reasons why you might want to do this on your BMW. Now, you might be asking, you know, wait, I, if I go through the modes of my car, doesn't that change my exhaust valves? Well, yeah, it does. <laughs> but it doesn't actually do what you think it does. So when you're in comfort mode or efficient mode or something similar, your exhaust valves are closed to make your exhaust as quiet as possible. Now, when you go into sport mode or similar and it opens your valves, it actually only does it temporarily. When you step on your exhaust, your, your exhaust valves will blip open and then immediately close. So it actually isn't fully open. Now, one of the best ways to fix that is the Daler exhaust controller. This is a really easy install under the back of your car. I'm gonna show you how, how to walk through the whole process and actually give you full control of your exhaust that you didn't have before. It even has a little remote control as well, depending on how you wanna set up your car, which is really cool. Now, I'm always gonna say this, we are gonna put the car up in the air today. You can do this with a set of jacks and jack stands. Always use jack stands if you have a jack. I'm gonna be using my awesome new Quick Jack 6000s. I love those, make sure to check out my video on it. It's the best way and one of the best tools I've ever bought. But if you've seen a bunch of my videos where you put the car in the air, <laughs> I'm always gonna say this, please be careful. Always use jack stands, always use something like Quick Jacks. Always be safe when you do this, do it on a stable level surface. Don't bet your life on a five cent part in a jack. I have seen jacks fail. So if your car comes down, that's a problem. If a car comes down while you're underneath it, that's a big problem, okay? So get your car safely in the air. You're gonna wanna get your back, the back end of your car up so you can do it with jack stands, or I'm gonna do it with my quick jacks, and then we're gonna slide underneath, and I'm gonna show you how we're going to install this new module. All right, y'all, so here we are underneath the car. Now, this, these instructions are gonna be very similar uh, depending on whatever model of BMW you have. And you can basically use this as a guide, uh, whether you have a double flap exhaust or a single flap exhaust, depending on what car you have. Now, this is my G87, so it has a double, so we're gonna be pulling uh, the flap controller on both sides or pulling the plug on both sides. So this is the passenger side. I just want to use this as an example. Your flap is right here. Make sure that when you start doing this work that your car is inefficient or uh, you know your base mode so your valves are closed, okay? This plug comes off with just a little locking tab right there. You depress the tab and it comes off. So then really the rest of the project is finding where to run your controller box and the cables. Because basically what's gonna happen is one end of the cables of your new Daler controller box will plug in here. The OEM will plug into the Y that's, that's on the controller box. And then running the rest of the cables in a safe place. Now, in my case, here on the passenger side, I found I have a good void right here. There's a, there's a gap in the plastic uh, that should be protected from below. Um, in different cars, I've installed it above the heat shield while I've pulled some of the bolts and installed above the heat shield. And in this case, I'm not gonna do that because I've got this great spot right here where it's gonna be nice and secure. It's gonna be protected from below and relatively protected from the weather. Uh, it is a sealed controller. The, now, the other thing I'm gonna do here is you can see on my heat shielding, it's actually a double baffle that goes all the way through. So I'm gonna put my controller box on one side, route it here, run the cables on the back side of the heat shield over to the other side, because you wanna make sure that it's not in a place where the cables are gonna hit anything uh, or get uh, damaged in any way. Okay, so let me get that set up a little bit, but you get the general idea of where this is gonna go. So this in, in a G87 here on the passenger side up in this little alcove, and then we're gonna run the rest of the cables. So let me get that partially set. And like I said, uh, I'm gonna partially pull the heat shield here as well. So let me show you what that looks like. All right, so it looks like a little bit like a tangle of cables right now, but I'll show you what we're looking at. So I'm here on the passenger side. This alcove right here is perfect for the controller box. I'll show you what that looks like in just a second. It tucks in, I mean, it's almost like the spot was made for it. It tucks in really securely and nicely. You can put a little double-sided adhesive with it. In the kit comes some adhesive Velcro. You could uh, put that on the box and secure it to, to the frame right here as well. 
Um, we've got uh, one branch of the controller wires that I still have zip tied together because that's the short run that goes right here. So you take the new plug, you plug it into the valve controller, you take the extension and plug it into the original OEM wire. Now, I haven't done any wire clean, you know, hookup at this point or zip ties or anything because I wanted to show you kind of in this rough state what it looks like. Now, the long run I've taken and I've run above the exhaust line all the way down here and I've plugged into the valve controller on the side again into the into the valve controller and the extension into the original OEM wire. Now this heat shield at least on the G87 has kind of a double baffle layer right here. There's two eight millimeter bolts. One here one right here that I've taken out which gives this sheet you can actually get to the back side of it. If you look right here there's a lip. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this cable and I'm gonna run it and fish it up and back and under this heat shield once I get it past that lip and, and in between, the sandwiched in between, so it'll be shielded by all of this heat shield. Once I do that, I'm gonna gather up all of this extra because there's quite a bit of extra right now. And we're gonna make sure that this is zip tied up really nicely and cleanly up in a, in a secure place up here against the frame. Now, when you do this, also make sure don't zip tie this to anything that moves, <laughs> right? So, you know, exhaust is gonna move, that's gonna be hot, don't put it there. Your control arms are gonna be, are gonna be moving. So don't, you know, don't attach anything don't zip tie it to anything that moves. Make sure that, that we're gonna get up here, up above into some of the frame elements themselves that don't move, okay? So now, let me get this cable tucked in. I'll show you what that looks like when it's done, but it really is this simple. All right, so it really is that simple. I've got it all tied up. And in this case, the install is made even simpler by this alcove right here. It really is perfect for this Daler controller. Um, I've zip tied everything in really nicely. So again, just kind of as a, as a repeat, um, I've run the you know, short side to this side. I've tucked all the excess wires up into the alcove, which I'll show here in a second. Um, I pulled those two eight millimeters to gap this heat shield down a little bit and I ran the cable behind it. So I tucked it in on this side, ran it above the pipes, tucked it in on that side, ran it down, connected it, tucked it behind the pipes, and then got the wire back, back you know, pulled it back in so it's sitting back about right here in the heat shield. Put the, the two eight millimeters back in you can see, and then make sure that you've got good, clean uh, wire, wire set up here with your zip ties. The kit comes with half a dozen or so zip ties, or they're good ones. So just make sure you've got good, clean connections. You don't have any wires that are hanging down or might get caught on something. So I gathered up the long one that came out this side um, and gathered it into this and made a bundle that kind of wraps up up into here, and as you can see up into this alcove, the controller, you can see the very top of the controller right there. Let me get my light so it's a little bit better for you. Okay, you can see the very top of the controller right there where, with the rest of the wiring bundle, um, all tucked in really nicely and zip tied together. Um, on the far side, as we come down, you can see You've got the OEM wire that comes down, zip tied in with the harness tied in here really nicely as it tucks down and tucks behind the heat shield. So it really is that simple. I mean, it's gonna take you more time to get the car up in the air than it, than it really does to, to do the install. So really the last step I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut, cut the ends off all the zip ties and then I put the car on the ground and we can test it. All right, so here we are in the car. Now, some of this might be a little bit hard to hear right at the moment, but this is the first fire up here after we've got it installed. I'll also set up the camera at the exhaust here in just a second, but let's get it started. All right. <laughs> yeah, opened. Closed. Absolutely is working. Open. Closed. <laughs> yeah, definitely making a difference. Let's get a little bit closer to show you with the camera. All right, y'all, so go ahead and clean up and put your couple of tools away. This really is not a hard install. It really takes you longer to get your car in the air to, to, than to install the module itself. Now, 
I really love this ability to fully control my exhaust flaps. There are times I want my car to be a little bit louder. There's definitely times I want it to be a little bit quieter. And it's nice to be able to have a level of control that BMW doesn't give you by default. I think Daler makes a fantastic product and it's an easy install and something you can easily do yourself. I really appreciate you watching. Please make sure to click like and subscribe. It makes a huge difference to my channel and I would really appreciate it. And I have a ton of fantastic content coming up for G87s, M2s, M3s, and even more. I'll see you on my next project.